All right, our tip of the week this week is going to be managing ideas with design options. So really cool, this is new with ARCHICAD 27. If you're using an older version, this is not an option for you. So highly suggest if this is something that interests you, upgrade to 27. Um, and in 27, it gave us the power to start using different design options within one model. Okay, prior to this, we would have to copy multiple versions of our design. So we'd, we'd model our base design, right? And then we'd copy that several times for how many design options we had. And then we would save a view all within the same project <clears throat> for each design option. Or we would have a different file all together for each design option or design options and then drop them in as hot links. And we would always have to find workarounds for our layers, our renovation filters, and all of that. So we're not cutting material out and, and it could get sloppy looking sometimes, quite frankly. So our design options have fixed that. There's no more need for workarounds with just a little bit of model management we can use one model to have multiple different design options to it. Okay, so we first start by creating our base model. Okay, we model everything um, that is going to be the same regardless of what design option we're using. Or if you're, uh, if we're talking about a renovation project, model you, or you model your as built. Okay, and then all of your other additions, um, your renovations, are gonna be put onto a different design option. So you can show all of the different design options that you have for that. Um, and then once we have that modeled, we need to start managing everything else with our design options, okay? So model your base building or your as-built first, and then we go into design options. So to get to design options, we have a couple different options. We can come up to windows, come down to palettes, and all the way down at the bottom is design options. Okay, that is going to get you this screen right here. We can also go to document, design options, and design options there as well. Both of those places are going to get you your design options palette. Okay, from there, we are going to start adding our options to, um, to the building, okay? So if we, in this case here, our design option is just going to be for this office piece right here, okay? So you're going to set that option as a default, okay? So what's currently there or what option one is, is your default. And we do that by putting the pencil next to it. Okay, or we can have it in something else and relink it to our default. Okay, a lot of this is going to be used, or we're gonna to have to start with our um, design option manager. Three different ways to get to that. We can go to menu, document, design options, very top design options manager. Uh, it is um, a button on the bottom of our screen, you know, where we have our quick access to our model view options, our layers, all of those other things. Um, design options is now one of those quick view buttons down there at the bottom of your screen. And it is also available to us in our design options palette right over here. Okay, so from here, this is where we start adding our design options, okay? So we have our main model, all right? And then we start adding our different design options from there. So it could be uh, for our low budget, we have uh, different bathroom layouts, different um, story settings, that type of thing. Okay, and then we drag and drop options among the sets. Okay, so if option three 
is available in our deck shading option, we can just drag and drop it there. We can also assign these elements as we're modeling them down in our classifications and properties of um, whatever tool it is. Okay, so if we're going in to start modeling with a wall, let's say, uh, this wall is going to be going to option one. Okay, so right there in our classifications and properties, we can assign that as well. Okay, in each option set, you can only have one option available at a time. Okay, you're not going to be able to see all three design options at a time. That's confusing. Um, would couldn't think of a time you would want to show all three. Okay, so we activate them by turning the eyeball on and off. Okay, so in our design options manager, we can activate it there, or in our design options palette, we can just switch the eyeball icon on and off based on when uh, we want to show it. Um, we can also make it so that only what's in an option set is, I must, this word sounds so weird, editable. Um, so we can only edit the um, elements that are set to that um, design option. So if we don't want to mess with anything on our main model by accident, okay, we can choose to select the option and only edit what's on that. Or we can select this and only edit what's on default. Okay, we can also create a separation between our main model and what that option is. Okay, the environment, that is going to be what the main model is. Okay, what's already there, what's gonna be the same regardless. And we can fade that in and out and assign a different color to it. So that way it will make what the option is stand out um, away from what the main model actually is. So if we have modeled something and um, we need to move it to a different option, Okay, we would first select the element, all right, um, and then click where we want to relink it to. So I want to take these and relink it to my office. So I would select these, come over here, select the option I want to link it to, and hit relink. And then it'll take it off of one option and put it onto another. <clears throat> 